And now only one of them will emerge victorious as we look at the Adidas starting five for Phil M Nation. It's Bernardo, Morales, Aquino, Macaranas, and Ryan Bailey. Meanwhile, for Phil Can Nation, it's Jordan Morgan, Alexander Pachuki, Isaiah Flores, Zayn Mahmood, and Gabo Busan. These two teams. The training director, Alex Compton. Coach Alex, it's a pleasure to have you for the Manila Live Boys 19 U Finals. Oh. Just a great matchup here. Great game. Really looking forward to it after all the excitement yesterday. Coach, I know it's been a tedious week for us, but how happy are you to see some of the provincial and even the global players uh, ball out here at the Mall of Asia Arena? Well, I just love how intense the competition has been. And, you know, we always go back to that phrase as iron sharpens iron. So many kids getting to play people from not just all over the country, but all over the world in this tournament. Obusan breaking the ice for Phil Can Nation as they take the early 2-0 lead. Phil Am Nation looking to respond. A miss there by Christian Aquino. Phil Can on the attack. Short jumper, that's a miss. Coach, do you have any particular player that have impressed you between these two teams? I mean, just really what stands out more to me than anything is how well coached Bias <laughs> Nankuchi. How well coached everybody is in this whole tournament, including these two teams. I mean, there were some. The Canadian game yesterday was the most exciting ending I think I've ever seen in a game in NBTC history. I mean, that's my bias. I don't, I don't know if we showed the clip of how Canada got, got, got to the game, but it's crazy. Oh, wait. That's, that's on Friday, the Division II semifinals coach, right? With yeah, yeah. Top Flight Canada with that Hail Mary. Uh, of a game winner to advance oh, to the finals. It was amazing. As you see here, a three pointer missed by Jordan Morgan. Bernardo bringing the ball down, gives it to Morales. Still scoreless for Phil Am Nation Select. Morales will try from deep. No, Mahmoud with the rebound. Pachuki, Obusan on the corner. Missed. Obusan. He played in the in the Division One, uh, Division Two semifinals last year, coach, with Toronto. But this time he will try to make uh, his mark with Phil Can Nation in Manila Live. Yeah, you know I watch these kids, and I, I don't know because uh, 2020, pa. <laughs> but it, it just really seems like lumalaki sila, bumibili sila, gumagaling sila. Just just the level of basketball. Across the whole NBTC, all the games I've watched, I'm like, wow, that's good. Wow. Oh, that kid just made it. Wow. I'm I can't count that high. Chaka sumasabay na rin, coach, yung provincial with the global teams. As we see Jordan Morgan making both of those free throws for Phil Can to push their lead 4-0 with 7 minutes and 56 on the clock. Foul be called there. Jackson Bernardo getting tangled up. And we will head to a timeout with 7.51 on the clock for a quick timeout by Philam Nation. This time is brought to you by Farm Fresh Dairy. And we are back here at the Mall of Asia Arena for the Manila Live Boys. 19 and under finals between Phil Can Nation and Phil M Nation Select B. Randolph B. Leongson on the call with Coach Alex Compton. What a treat we're having. Tatlong laro, Coach. Ha? You, are, you are ready to share your insights, share your thoughts. And I know, Coach, sabi mo nga, you, you left the country some years ago. We really missed your, your wit, your charm, and Again, seeing the development of these players is just... I, I'm happy that you get to experience the NBTC once again. Oh, yeah. Baby namin ni Coach E. Na parang iniwan ko sila. <laughs> <laughs> Coach E, Marissa, the whole team. You know what's incredible is having Manila Live come in and, and be running simultaneous with the NBTC, giving so many more chances to so many more players from all around the world to participate in this this tournament and, and really experience, there's a cultural aspect of this, of coming back to the Philippines, 
seeing what life's like in the Philippines. Coming in, yes, great basketball, great competition, but coming back to the motherland, man, and just be like, wow, wow, ganito pala. Siguro yung mga Amerikano, hindi naman ganito pala ang sinasabi, but it's just, it's really cool. I enjoy the whole experience, and hats off, man. Coach E, Marissa, Michelle, Anaina, the whole team, everybody, some guy named Randolph. <laughs> everybody who's put this on, Kay, it's, it's kind of almost thankless at times for the amount of work and the lack of sleep. When I look in the stands, and there's so many people here, and there's so many teams here. I think we had 140 teams, over 1,700 coaches at the coaches' convention. In the Biro, yeah, and now, now we're talking about a game. There's... Yeah, Coach Eric Altamirano with Smart Sports First Vice President and Head of Sports, Mr. Drew Turquato, enjoying the action as Andre Macarana scoring quick five points to put Phil Am Nation Select B ahead. But Zane Mahmood powering through. Coach, if you don't know, Zane Mahmood just committed to USD. So he's a part of Gila's youth and he will strut his stuff in the UAAP in the coming season. Oh, I thought he was going to be a linebacker for the Kansas City Chiefs. <laughs> I couldn't tell. He's a big guy. As Morales misses the three. Phil Can once again on the run. Pachuki on the, on the wing. Morgan with the screen. Fades short on that one. Bernardo will lead the break. Well defended by Phil Khan Nation. Yeah, it was. Really good transition defense. Right what here. a steal. And here comes Phil Khan Nation. Oh. oh, sorry miss on the layup. Aquino on the other end. Phil Am looking to punish Phil Khan. But the three would be missed again. How about the defense, Coach? Well, I love the two-on-one. First, the offensive rebound. You always have to assume the miss if you're going to be a good offensive <laughs> rebounder. But Aquino didn't give up on the play either and stripped him. you got to love the effort from both teams. Patsuki driving. Nice getaway. But everything but the basket. Morales fakes it, passes it eventually. Another miss, Helter Skelter basketball we're seeing so far. <laughs> oh, Sometimes the nerves get you and you just miss plays, but you can see the energy you guys are playing with on defense. Good kick out. Good Three choice. Three-pointer. Nice cleanup job by Angelo Vega. To once again give Phil Kahn the 8-5 lead as we approach the midway point of our first quarter. Again, this is the Manila Live Boys 19 U Finals. Maharanas misses the three. Morgan gives it to Mahmood. Touchdown. That's a big, strong guy right there. I would not want to take a charge on him coming down the lane. Mahmood like a Mack truck. I don't want to be facing him when he's running down the break. A great offensive rebound. See, he noticed that was going to be short, and he was the first in the air. First in the air, gets the ball so often. Coach Norman talked about that a little bit in our coaches' convention. Good recognition there by Morales to keep Philam within three. Morgan, post move blocked by Morales. Macaranas, he has five in this game. Ali, you play. But the cleanup for Macaranas, seven points for Andre Macaranas. And that will send us to another timeout this time in the part of Phil Can Nation. This timeout is brought to you by Farm Fresh Dairy. We're live here at the Mall of Asia Arena for the Manila Live. Boys under 19 finals as we see the delegation from the Sisters of Mary who have come from yesterday to today to soak in the action. What an opportunity for these boys to in a way, be inspired and see the future of Philippine basketball, hoping oh, that man. they can also follow the footsteps. Watch a bunch of great games. I mean, the girls' championship earlier was amazing. <laughs> so many good players, and they get to see it. When they were all white there for a second, I thought we were at a Miami Heat game. <laughs> oh, good deep. Nice steal by Macaranas. He's been doing everything for Phil Am Nation. But a traveling, nice defensive stance by Angelo Vega. He should have... He should have uh, Release the ball when, when Vega intercepted it, coach. You're right. You're right. Well, and it's funny. You know, I mean, 
nobody's giving up on any single play here. That's yeah. what I love. Vega didn't give up on the play. He's obviously a bigger guy in transition. He came back through sheer effort, forces the travel. You love to see that from young guys. The defense has been relentless so far from these two teams. And we expect that in, in a championship uh, atmosphere like this. They did not come from very far to just fall and lose this game, Coach. No, you, you, you only get one chance. I think Eminem said something about that. This is their one chance to play in the finals. Who knows if they'll ever get back to Moa. You want to leave it all out there. Obusan loses the handle. Solanoi was fouled. Phil can, they, they don't want to give Phil Amnation those fast break opportunities. Oh. Seems like they were very quick on those transition D if they can intercept and stop the break. They are always trying to do that. Yeah, I mean, again, I've really been impressed with coaching throughout this whole tournament. I mean, one of our, our desires when we started this whole league was to see the coaching get better everywhere we go. I just see a lot of good coaching. A lot of that is don't give up the easy buckets in transition. And that's, sure, some awareness, but a whole lot of effort. You guys are leaving it out there. Vega with a rebound. Gives it to Morgan. Mahmoud showing the touch, but that's short. On the other end, Phil Can on the run. I think that's the reason why Phil Can is trying to stop those fast break opportunities for Phil M. They know how athletic their counterparts are. Yeah, make them take hard shots in the half court. Just like uh, why Vegas always makes money or casinos make money. Play the odds. And so far, odds have favored Phil Cam. They are still ahead by one with two minutes and 21 seconds remaining in our first quarter. And oh. now a full court press being employed by Phil Am. This is how they respond. Mahmoud, big boy move, but the ball just trims out. So, so help me understand, he literally just committed to USC when you say just committed. He committed uh, some weeks ago, so that would be okay. a boost for Coach Pido Arencio of the Growling Tigers as uh, another basket for Miles Solanoy. Busan with a cleanup job. Great awareness. I like the floater. Great shot. It's short. He's aware of his teammate. Nice little Larry Bird tip pass there. Tough. Lakin Danum at the point. Being defended by Mahmoud. Strip there. Vega with one man to beat. Slips. And Morgan short. Second serving still no. But the ball will remain with Phil Khan Nation. Man, these guys are everywhere. Vega's made a couple of great effort plays on defense. And Obusan, coach, I, I am telling you, Obusan is one of the lethal threes from this team. And he, he hasn't shot a three yet, but he's doing his part on defense too. Oh yeah, he's a tough physical kid. And as I say it, a nice pass by Obusan to Vega. Nice one-two play. And Phil can leads by three. Bernardo. Sizing up Mahmoud, probably not the wisest choice. Three-pointer, Mahmoud being battled by the rebound there by Solanoi. And the ball will go to Philcan. Solanoi almost came up with that <laughs> and almost took it from the big fella. You gotta love the effort. No, that's, that's a mismatch. If, if you, oh, a nice recognition there. A that. steal for Phil oh. Nation. And Solanoi. Phil Am saves it. 10 on the shot clock. Final minute of action here in our first quarter. Solanoi. Shot Three clock. seconds. Oh. And a bailout foul. They played excellent defense for 23 seconds. Yep. But Mahmoud picks up his first. Again, yeah. the defense. Yeah, well, uh, you don't, I mean, there's, there's effort all around the board on this. And I like the, a lot of guys don't realize this on offense. So I like the maturity of number 12 on, on offense with the head fake. When you got two seconds left and the defense is aware, a lot of times they're jumping on a head fake. 
I don't know how much he thought that through. He just saw a huge guy in front of him <laughs> got scared, but it was a good play. He was able to fish the foul. That's the most important part. Solanoy to Labar. But Labar will be called for travel. Give and take. Give and take, coach. Yeah, well, you know, we watch all these games, and sometimes we forget. These are all kids. Yeah. You know, they're, they're still, everybody, all players, all coaches still have a lot to learn about the game. They're still going to make some kid mistakes. There's a little happy feet there. Good pass. Good pass. Everything but the shot. Morgan not giving up on the ball. Leads to an Opusen basket. Second good tip off of an offensive rebound by a player from Philcan that leads to a bucket. And that will do it for our first quarter with Phil Can Nation ahead. 16 to 11 against Phil Am Nation. As we see our smart powered up plays brought to you by Smart Power All 99. Get 8 gigabytes of all access data. Only TikTok and only all net calls and text for seven days. Load now. Again, an excellent game so far. We're having Coach Alex. But we have three more quarters to dispute and to find out who will be the champions of our Manila Live Boys Under-19 second quarter when we return. We're back here at the Mall of Asia Arena for the Manila Live Boys 19 and Under finals. Phil Can Nation Select leading 16 to 11 against Phil Am Nation Select B. Randolph Billions on all the call with the former superstar of the PBL, <laughs> Mr. Alexander Compton. <laughs> That's hysterical. <laughs> I don't know if the kids still know the PBL coach, but I watched you growing up, lighting out for well coach. Uh, another stop leading to transition. Good hands. Obusan. So, sorry, coaching thing I can't say. Never throw the ball at the level of the defense. you got to bounce that or throw it high. Because he shoveled it right in the level where the arms are. That's why I got deflected. Otherwise, that's going to be a bucket. And that leads to a turnover, but the ball would remain with Phil Khan Nation, Mahmoud. Oh, Ooh, nice step. But was short and that one recovered. Three-pointer, Gab Obusan misses. Phil can on the run, Bernardo intercepted. And then Mahmoud against Bernardo, meeting at the top. Good challenge. Obusan oh. stripped on the way up. Turner goes for the pull up three, it goes off the glass. Boarding down, eh? boarding. The bank is open on a Sunday, and why not? <laughs> on the other end, the ball will go back to. Phil Can. Again, the action has been relentless, and we invite you to watch the games as we see this SM Super Mall's three point play courtesy of uh, Jack Turner. Tinikoyan's a replay, Savinia, boarding. Obusan once again strip. But this time, a foul be called against Macaranas. As I was saying, coach. The pleasure to watch this game's live. 20 pesos lang, di ba? Lagi siya sa commercial, hanggang sa kadadali ng 20 pesos mo. Moa Arena, and you can, it's free seating everywhere. And you can watch some great basketball, especially in, the, in this final day for NBTC. Yeah, you know, when I look back growing up, I went to a, uh, a uh, high school tournament. It was called the Empire State Games in New York. And there was a guy named Patrick Ewing Wow. in high school who was pretty amazing to watch and then he became my favorite college player and I was like, wow, it's Patrick Ewing. But I saw him when he was 17 years old. It's crazy. It's cra so that, that, you know, if you think about it, our fans have a chance to watch these kids when they were, I mean, that's the whole NBTC, right? You got Basser, you got guys Kevin Alas, you got guys who came through the program, Kiefer, 30, and it's, yeah, I, I remember watching them when they were 16, 17. That's a pretty cool experience. And especially for this year, Coach, we got lots of names like Andy Hemao who will play for Phil Am Nation Select in the finals. And Tebul Garcia of Adamson, huh, will, right. they will be, that will be a banger for the Division One finals later on today. Super. Hemao, I can't tell you how much he impressed me with everything, his athleticism, his skills, his handle, and it really stood out how his teammates deferred to him at certain points where they really gave him the ball to be the main guy to set people up. And then Tebul Garcia, he made 
all smart, under control plays. Alam mo yun, yung parang, but alam mo yun si Pauli, you never rush Pauli. He always plays at his pace. Parang yung, yung ganun, yung nakita ko kay Tebol. Really shows how much the development is. And I, I also think it's part of the coaching. Coach Chris Gavina calling the shots for the Philam Nation. Coach Mike Fermin calling the shots for the Baby Falcons. It really, kumbaga, hindi lang, hindi lang sa players coach eh. Even the coaching, it, it forces you to level up oh. uh, if, you're if you're making it to the NBTC. A uh, hundred uh, percent. They're just really, there's really good discipline. There's really good coaching. You can tell really good teaching, skill development. It's been fun to watch. As Phil Amnation not giving up on the play is Andre Macaranas. Phil can thought that what, that was already a shot clock violation, but Phil Am just continued to play. That's what you're saying, coach. Just keep it coming, right? Yeah. Just never give up on the play. If you don't quit, you win half the time. Mahmoud. That's just a big fella. Just got to work on his balance a little bit. One more dribble and power up. Morales. Three-pointer. But steps on the line. Again, turnovers piling up for Philam Nation. I've, I've seen that play happen more. So the right thing is you want to sprint to the corner and stretch the floor and mm -hmm. make the defense have to, so that's right. But I've seen more shooters in this tournament when they go to receive the ball have that back foot either come from out of bounds or step out of bounds on the sideline. Just got just a little more awareness for our young players. And coach, you, you, you see people are saying the three point is really the strength for us, especially for Filipinos who are, in a way, smaller stature, especially more in this era where Stephen Curry has really deeply influenced the game of basketball. The power of the three, it's really evident. You gotta guard more of the floor. You know, I mean, that, that, that's the thing. When I got here, there was a lot of ISO basketball. There's a lot of pick and roll. There's a lot of just ISO post. And I, I love post players. I mean, at Alaska, we always want to throw the ball inside, but that being said, if you can stretch the floor from the corners out around to say 27 feet, or if you're Steph Curry, 185 million feet, <laughs> then you make the defense have to guard so much more of the floor. It's just much harder if there's a lot of pressure on the defense. It, it, it's easy to say if you have Sonny Tosso in the post and- Vic Manuel. And you got guys like Jay Vicasio and Don Don Antiveros on the, on, the, on the wings, right coach? Yeah, but it's, but it's you know, this is where you see just the evolution of the game and, and you know thank god for a lot of the influence of the european game they've done so much to contribute to spreading the floor and stretching the floor i believe it was this court where we saw a european team win yeah the Ger world cup germany won the world cup last year when the philippines hosted the fiba world cup and we hope to see some of these guys emerge as Maharanas once again being the guy for Phil Am Nation as they take this 20 to 18 lead. All of a sudden, Phil Am in the driver's seat. Jenner Roo, you're playing basketball, kid. Stop, stop kicking that. <laughs> oh, here we see a good, strong drive and quick up ball side. Makarana's doing a nice job. You can tell he attacks the basket aggressively, and Phil Am is now up two after being down. And for most of the game. Of the 20 points, Phil Am Nation, nine has come from Maharanas, coach. Yeah, he's really done a nice job attacking. Let's see if they're gonna double him in the post. Maharanas, crafty move. It's too short. Oh. Another opportunity. Solano once again. Three-pointer. Look Miss at Solano. Solano again. Gotta love the effort. Put a body on him, so what can say. pesky players. Miles Solano and another turnover for Phil Can Nation. And the momentum has suddenly shifted on the side of Phil Am. Wow. Game of momentum shifting. Makaranas loses the handle. And that's a shot he's got to be able to take and make. He was open off the kick out. But he's not giving up on the play but was called for the foul there. How about Solano getting two extra <laughs> possessions, man? He's, I think he might be the shortest guy on the floor right now. Effort, effort, effort. How about his Buntut Pagi coach? 
you know, bagay sa'yo din eh. <laughs> Next year when I come back, dapat may ganyan ka. Uh, really, like an action star is Maya Solano. On the other hand, Flores. <laughs> Layup misses. Ball goes to Phil Amnation. Someone's down, but Solano <laughs> Oh, the run. Yeah, I think we got Macaranas down. He might have gotten uh, inadvertently hit in the face as guys are going for the loose ball. As the medics will check, I think he got hit in the face inadvertently. Again, that's, that's, that's everyone just fights for the ball, coach. Yeah, ball bouncing in space. Guys are going to try to go get it sometimes. You run into each other. You see, sometimes you see guys run into their own teammates, right? It happens. I just hope he's all right. You see here, Coach Roy Nick Baelio giving instructions to these guys. Meanwhile, Coach Russell Raipo. You know, yesterday, Coach, these two coaches, they were together coaching the Manila Live aspirants in, during our Manila showcase. Here we go. Loose I ball. Yep. Oh. I think that was an elbow. Yeah, they're just both trying to go get the ball. And oh. that's, that's tough. They both kind of got each other, but definitely Macarana's got the worst of that. Let's go back to the action. Solano trying the three, but missing. Vega tries his side. Turner with the rebound. Bernardo with the rock. Defended by Morgan. Morgan got hit in the face. It will be called for a foul. Yeah, just, I always tell my sons this. Feet first, and then you can reach in. By, by reaching in, if somebody puts a ball in front of you, you can grab it with your hands. But you gotta move your feet first. When you go hands first, bad things happen. As we go to a timeout, this timeout is brought to you by Far Fresh Dairy. We're back here at the Mall of Face Arena for the Manila Live Boys 19U Finals. Randolph belongs on the call with Coach Alex Compton for our final day of our NBTC week. Again, what a week we've had so far, Coach Alex. Amazing. How, uh, I mean, I know you're tired with all of the activities, but how rewarding has been the feeling, Coach? Oh, just amazing. You know, they called it the madness in MOA. We saw a half-court game winner last night. We got... 1,700 coaches here for the coaches' convention, learning from so many different coaches, Coach Jong, Coach Coach Norman, so many other great coaches teaching. I mean, Coach Topek spoke, Anthony Panganinan spoke. You think about what the coaches are getting in the coaches' convention, what the players are getting by playing against other great players from all around the, the world. It's just a jam-packed event. Obusan looking to end the drought for Phil Canation Turner. On the break, stolen. Pachuki, nice find to Gab Abusan. Only the fourth point so far in the second quarter for Phil Can Nation. Yeah, they desperately needed a basket. They've been stuck on 18 for a while. And they got it for some energy and effort and a little bit of sloppy turnovers beside of Phil Am Nation. Three ball for Phil Am Nation, misses. Pachuki with the rebound. Coach, a lot of coaches here in Manila are Looking at that guy, number one, Alexander Pachuki there. Intrigued of him as Gabo Busan scores, but what's your thought about that kid, Coach? I got to see more to give you a good evaluation. You know, I've had games that I've watched the best shooter go 0 for 10, and he's an incredible shooter. You base one game sometimes, it's hard to say, but I know all these kids are here and here in the finals because they have potential and they can make plays. As the past possession saw... Your favorite coach, Miles Solana, is scoring with a floater. Gotta love it. Love the floater, love the runner. I wish they knew it. I'm so old, they didn't exist when I played. <laughs> there was no such thing as a floater runner. At least nobody told us about it. And now you see all these kids, 15, 16, 17-year-olds, getting to that mid-range, that 10-foot area, shooting these nice teardrops. And, wow, it's a great skill. You know, Coach, one of my favorites when it comes to the one-handers, James Yao. Oh, wow. Well. Very, very... It, when he does that one-hander, that's that's absolute money. Because parang suha lang ang bola sa kamay ni James. Lakin ang kamay niya. But but yeah, I mean they're just such. It's such a great thing to see the game develop so much and these players be so skilled and just continually grow. As Jordan Morgan goes perfect from the line, and this is not Michael Jordan, coach. <laughs> that guy has been 
all around watching the games. He's been wearing Kobe Bryant, now he's wearing Michael Jordan. He's not Michael Jordan, I'm sorry. Well, maybe next year in the NBTC we'll have Michael come on out and watch. Right? Not sure yet. I heard we, I mean, one of the players was the son of Ron Harper, if yep. I'm not mistaken. Yeah, he's a really good player. Played at Rutgers. Phil Khan, Mahmoud. Gotta love it. Holy Gotta ball love inside. it. The big boy. <laughs> Show us how strong you are, Zane. Get the head bob going. We need more head bob. <laughs> Can we get the celebration? Can we get all the way through the celebration? <laughs> That's where the curls come in handy. Tengo mo na na sa rock concert pa tayo sa basketball. Maging headbanger pala eh. That's a big, strong kid right there. You love to see the second effort, the finish, and, and the fact that he did celebrate. He wants it. He wants to go get that ball and make plays for his team. But the end one, the bonus misses. Phil Khan once again. Everything but the shot. Woo! There it is. I thought he lost the handle, but the more the most important thing is it found the bottom of the net. There's a little floater, got it up over the big guy. Aguiling Morgan. Good handle. Good pass. Aguiling again. Mahmoud wants that ball, but Aquino recovers. Two minutes and 25 on the clock. Bernardo against Mahmoud. Hesitates. Gets a second try. Pass it out. Three pointer, that's good. Four. I think that's Tyler Bailey. Obusan. Would oh, like to respond. Oh. Too strong the drive. Morgan finds an opening, but the ball rims out. Lakindanum has a basketball. Seen a lot of good shots at the rim, just missed. Because of some challenges, but just some plays, some kids are missing some plays. We've seen some good looks from three missed. Guys just got to step up and knock down a few shots. Corner three again. Mahmoud with the rebound. Morgan, too fancy with the basketball. Aquino pull up over Mahmoud. It's a great shot. Little fella getting up over the big boy. And all of a sudden, a six point lead for Phil Am Nation. Pachuki misses the three. Aquino once again, final minute of the first half. Ball rims out, but Morales recovers. Phil Am Nation making plays in transition, getting out and going, and Aquino really putting pressure on the defense. Couple floaters attacking the rim, leading to the offensive rebound. And this time I was brought to you by Farm Fresh Dairy. We're back here at the Mall of Asia Arena for the Manila Live Boys Under 19 Finals. Phil Am Nation Select B leading 33 to 30 against Phil Can Nation. Randall Villalong is on the hall with coach Alex Compton as we see the leading scores. Mangaranas with 11, Christian Aquino with 6. Meanwhile, Gab Obusan, your saying coach, getting 13 out of the 13 for Phil Can Nation and then Zayn Mahmood with 6. But one guy that I want to focus on, Miles Onano only scoring 4 but making a lot of impact on the court. Well, you know, again, doing the math, he gained his team possessions. So multiple times he was able to get his team multiple shots. If you have the ball, here's a crazy concept. You can score. The other guys can't. So you just love effort. That's why us coaches always talk about 50-50 balls, offensive rebounds, and not turning it over. We have more possessions. we got a better chance of winning. So you love guys making that effort. 3rd quarter of our Manila Live Boys Under-19 Finals between Phil Am Nation and Phil Can Select. Thank you for joining us. May it be on our live stream on Facebook at Smart Sports NBTC Puso Pilipinas or on YouTube on NBTC Philippines or Smart Sports and even on the Smart Live Stream app or One Sports Plus. Thank you for joining us this morning. Sorry, this afternoon, really. 
as we go back to the action. Aquino with a rebound. Aquino thought about the three, long two, and that's good. Not the biggest guard, he's obviously a little guy. He's made some really nice plays for his team. Good decisions, good mid-range, good floaters. He's had a real impact in this game. Showing a lot of spunk for Phil Am Nation. On the other end, Mahmoud. What will he do? Bullies his way yeah. inside. Yeah. Barbecue chicken, as Jack says. I think a couple times he has rushed shots where if he could have just given guys a little nudge, he finishes the play. Much better job right there. He recognizes that he has the size advantage, but once he gets he gets the poise that, yeah, I, I have to take my time, I think he's going to be a better player, Coach. Yeah, yeah, definitely. And that a lot of times that just comes with age and reps. Look at the effort. Look at the effort. Everything but the shot for Morales, but you got to give credit for the heart of that kid on the other end, Obusan scores once again for Phil Can Nation. Just love his energy and aggressiveness. He's been in his his energy has put him in the right spot to receive drop, drop passes. Right there, you saw his speed getting him down court for a finish. I was saying earlier, coach, Gab Obusan played for Toronto last year in the Division I quarterfinals, faced against TUST. As you see this replay, that nice drive. They lost to USD and then he committed to USD and then Obusan did. Yeah, and then he came back to Canada, trimmed down a bit. So I think more, I think he see, he's impressing a lot of coaches with how he's played this year. Yeah, uh, again, his, his energy, he's got a nose for the ball. It's been really impressive. I think he's a far better player this year compared to last year. He was a bit chubby last year. This time he's really slimmed down as Flores hits the three and gives Phil Can Nation the lead 37 to 35. Change favor. A little rally here for Phil Can. They were up almost the entire, what, first 12 first minutes quarter, of the yeah. game? Turner, bad pass, recovered by Morales. Seven on the shot clock. Aquino being defended by Morgan. Two seconds. Morales. Oh. End of the shot clock. Huge three to give the lead back. Again, up and down we go here at the Mall of Asia Arena for our Manila Live. Boys, 19 and under finals. Only one team will emerge with the championship. Nice pass by Obusan to Mahmoud. Very good pass and a sizable roll. <laughs> His roll, he completely erased the guy trying to get in front of him. Good job. Nice team play. On the other end, Phil Am Nation. Aquino was blocked oh. by Morgan, but he stayed with the ball. Uh oh. He grabbed his knees, all right? That was a great shot by Aquino. Nice to see Flores pull back. Wow, that was, that was just a relentless drive for him. He got blocked already, but he did not give up on that play, coach. Yeah, it was really good on the ball, D, but, you know, again, first to the ball, first to the ball. As soon as that ball was a peak, somebody got a piece of it, he was jetting for that thing. And Love the energy. And he was rewarded with a bonus, a three-point play. Again, the lead is back to Phil Am Nation. Seesaw battle here in the third quarter. But an errant turnover. Pacetes' pass to Jordan Morgan was just too strong. And Phil Am Nation can extend their lead. Morales being hounded by Mahmoud. Intercepted by Obusan. Obusan on the run. Nice find. Hockey pass. And a foul. Isaiah Flores will go to the line for two. Yeah, you know, I think here's another thing you watch this game. Kids have played so many games this week. They're a little slow getting down on transition. And I just watched it in the girls' championship game. They're pouring their hearts out by the end of the game. Like you're hoping some of these kids just aren't going to get cramps because they've been playing so hard so long. But you still got to do a better job as, as much as you can in getting back on transition and making them take a tough shot. It'd be adrenaline, they'd be bright, they'd be hard. There's no better way to show it than the finals 
for these boys as we see some of the fans were enjoying our action here as Flores Ties the game at 41, with six minutes and one second remaining in our third quarter. Yeah, we knocked down that three earlier. We got two free throws. Got a stroke going. Let's see what happened here. I think uh, Phelan Nation is uh, pointing something out. Oh, warnings There's were something. given for unsportsmanlike behavior. Uh. So, I need uh, your young ears. <laughs> Couldn't hear that. Oh, coach, again, as much as this is on court competition, the tennis of the NBTC is really building teaching character, teaching yeah. right, uh, a right mindset to, to these kids. Not just for the kids, really, but also for the coaches. Yeah, and also for the parents. Yeah. You know, because there's nothing you care about more than your kids. And a lot of times that passion of the parents can carry over. There's nothing you care about more than your players as a coach. There's nothing more that you care about in the game than your kid. So a lot of times passion and emotion can lead you to make decisions you might not otherwise make. And, you know, managing your emotions is such a big part of life. It's where sport's a great teacher of that. Again, at the end of the game, one will win, one will lose at the end of the game. You're not opponents. We're just playing against each other, playing with each other maybe. But this is sports. We have to always respect the game as it is. Yep, you see some kids. Oh, got a little double dribble and lost the ball. Pasetes was just too careless on that possession. And the ball will go back to Phil Am Nation. It's Coach Russell Raipon. Looking for a way to break out for Phil Am Nation. Good help. Really good help. Macaradas being hounded by three defenders. Well, it's interesting, you know, good awareness from Phil Am Nation. As soon as the big boy, Mahmoud, goes to the bench, immediate post ISO for Macaradas. They attack, yes, coach. Because the, the discrepancy between Mahmoud and Alexander Pachuki, it's it's light years really. Yeah. And Macaranis has, has done a nice job scoring inside, and Obusan, who's probably a better matchup for him, was out on the perimeter guarding somebody. Macaranis goes an empty trip, recovers, still misses. Guanzon gives it up. Thought about the three, Pachuki. Nice passing here by Phil Can Nation. Yep. Everything but the shot, but Pachuki recovers. Gotta love the ball movement in that possession, though. A lot of unselfish play and extra passes led to a wide open shot for a shooter who's already knocked down a three. On the other end, Aquino. To Solanoi, but Solanoi loses the handle. So All right on cue, Coach. Mahmoud is back on the floor for Phil Can Nation. Yep. Got Coach, some size back in there. Coach Roenick Baelio recognizing that for two to three possessions, Phil Am was just attacking them down low. Pachuki couldn't really do anything. And now they have to bring back the big, uh, the big boy. On the corner. You know, it's such a big deal if guys can shoot the basketball. And just make the open ones really well. If you can step in and consistently drain, kick out threes like that, it really changes the way that the defense has to play the game. And it's really demoralizing, Coach. When you, you see someone being open, that means the defense aren't really doing their job. But Phil Nation's defense have done an excellent job. A scramble. But the possession arrow will favor, I believe, Villam Nation. Oh. Yeah. yeah. We got a good game here. And we still have a quarter and a half to play here in the Manila Live 19 new Boys Finals. But we will go to a timeout. This time is brought to you by Farm Fresh Dairy. We're back here at the Mall of Asia Arena for the Manila Live 19U Boys Finals. 
where Phil can Nation Select and Phil M Nation Select B are on an absolute dogfight. Randolph Billions on with Coach Alex Compton on the call. How exciting is this game, Coach? I expect a quadruple overtime. <laughs> no, we were go <laughs> we're going overboard at broadcast. We have two more finals up next, oh, and Solanoi showing that grit and will be rewarded with the bonus. Let's take a view of that replay against two defenders. 77, Solano, a power <laughs> player. I, I love guys like, like, not the tallest guy. He's gained possessions. He plays tough. He's strong. He goes and gets basketball. Love that. He's like a chihuahua coach. He, he punches <laughs> on his... He got he, more muscles than a chihuahua, I think. At least watch, I'm not giving you chacha references like <laughs> Jay. I'm too young for that. That's a three-pointer by Flores on the corner. And again, the favor is back for Phil Cat Nation, 46 to 45, with three minutes and 45 remaining in the third. That's Flores' eighth point in this quarter. Aquino. Good extra. Oh, one more out there. Too strong, the floater. Macaranas. Pachuki on the break. See, right there. Remember how we talked about not throwing at the level of defense? If he threw that at the waist height, that's a deflection. Good bounce pass leads to a layup. And now, Flores heating up for Phil Can Nation. Macaranas, what will he do? Good Takes day. it by his lonesome. Morgan. Aliu play to Pachuki. And this is now a five point lead for Phil Can Nation. Getting some stops and getting out and running. This is the game of Phil Can Nation, coach. Just sharing the basketball. But on the other end, Lakin Danum scoring for Phil Am. But I feel like in the past possessions, Phil Am has settled for isolation plays. Yeah, well, where well, you got a lot of ball movement. See right there, another pass. Extra Na passes lead to better shots. Nice connection again. And Pachuki finishes it off a pass. Let's take one more look from that Flores to Pachuki pass. No look. And that will lead to a three-point play for Alexander Pachuki. <laughs> we see a player from each team now. Screaming, and one! <laughs> and he completes the end one play. <laughs> Coach, I think when you scream end one, you have to make the bonus, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It, it negates the, the intensity of that scream when you miss that free throw. Yeah, yeah, for, for sure. It's like having an Iverson crossover and then not making a shot. <laughs> oh, big bucket! Bernardo showing the touch from deep. 53 to 50 for Phil Can Nation. Hindi siya anak ni Ryan Bernardo, no? Hindi naman yata, Coach. As Pachuki. Nice curl. Once again gets away. Hindi siya anak ni Bernardo Bernardo, no? Hindi na yata yung Coach. Ah, talaga? Ah, sorry. Matagal wala ako eh. I did not expect Bernardo Bernardo to come out <laughs> in, in this broadcast, coach. But yeah, Bernardo, not related to the late actor, coach. making the first one. He's got it going. Just hit a three, attacked the basket, got fouled. He's made one. Got a chance for like a 5-0 run himself. You know, both teams just refusing to give an inch, coach. And we're, we still have one more quarter to play, but Bernardo splits on that one. Mahmoud. Well, that's only the fourth team foul for Phil Ann. Any foul here on out, both teams are shooting. I, I don't like that, coach. When off a rebound, you have to give up fouls like that. That's. I, I feel that's completely it's a waste. unnecessary. Yeah, it, it's a waste. It's a good thing they weren't in the bonus. But they just wasted a foul to give. They didn't have to. Mahmoud to Pachuki. 
two-man game between the big men. And again, and now that would uh, that would mean free throws. Yep. Yeah, that was saying an unnecessary foul exactly leads to two easy free throws this time for Alexander Pachuki. He's had a nice little run here. It's got to be like what? I he got two or three layups yeah, I plus think a. And this one. is his uh, eighth point of the quarter. Yeah, and he all, has ten. All in the last two minutes, it feels like he's just scored in bunches here. Is that Phil Can got out and was running and getting in transition? Two of two for Alexander Pachuki. Nine of his eleven points coming in the third quarter. A big reason why Phil Can is in the driver's seat. Philam Nation has a chance to respond. Bernardo, top of the arc three. That's oh, good. That's a big shot. shot. Turner. And again, just a nip and tuck battle we're having. Nice getaway this time by Angelo Vega. Putting Phil Can up by five. Final minute of our third quarter. Audacious oh. drive, but careless rebound by Flores. He wasn't able to get a grip of that ball. And Philam will get the possession. I love the aggressiveness, but it was a little bit of one on three. There weren't any offensive rebounders there when that shot was taken a little tight. That's why I'm saying it was audacious, coach. Yeah. <laughs> and Pachuki missed their third quarter for Phil Can. Good pass. Mahmoud. Ooh, one at the N1. Yeah. But we'll settle for two free throws. But again, one of the things that stood out in this quarter is the extra passes. A lot of a lot more extra passing on the side right now of Phil Can Nation. That, and those have usually led to good plays or open looks. I think that's really the bread and butter for them with Mahmoud going inside. They, they've tried to set him up in the post has rushed some shots in the first half, but when they allowed the, their, their ball movement to make things happen, that has allowed Pachuki, Mahmoud to really show out and show their worth for their team coach. Yeah, yeah. I'm excited to see Coach Pido and his staff get a hold of him and you know really teach him how to play down there. It's, it's such a nice advantage when you have a big guy who can score, who can really use his size and assert himself. And you know how we know how good he is. He's a part of the Gila's youth team before, participated, represented the country. So really an opportunity for him to learn that Filipino style of basketball, as they say, coach. Yeah. Well, and here's another silly foul. So great effort, but swiping at the ball. There's two shots. And that would mean two free throws. Actually, I, I, was, I was about to applaud Phil Khan. They were in the penalty early on, but they haven't really fouled. But final 15 seconds, you, you commit one more. You're giving two easy free throws on the opposing side. Yeah, yeah, you really want to make them work for it. And this is a chance to cut that lead down. Two of two for... Uh, Ryan Bailey, the lead is down to five. Final 15 seconds of our third quarter. What will Phil can do, Vega? A two-three zone here. Mahmoud, bully yes. ball inside. Oh! The friendly boss was not friendly. And that will send us to our quarter break. Phil Fourth quarter action here at the Manila Live Boys Under 19 Finals, where Phil Can Nation select leads 61 to, six, to 56 against Phil Am Nation B. Randolph Billyongson on the hall with Coach Alex Compton. And final 10 minutes of action. No one's refusing to give an inch. And you expect that, Coach. This is for the championship. For sure. And I really like on the side for Phil Can that Obusan has had this time off when they've went on a run. So he's coming in a little more fresh legs here now in this fourth quarter to make some plays while Mahmoud gets to rest. He's just uh, trying to survive that 
giving the big boy some time to replenish and recover for the final push of the game as Morales. He's been silent in the third quarter. Finally, he's balling out. Gets the first points for Philam Nation. Down to three. Pachuki to Obusan. Nice find. Unprepared. Oh, Pacetes with a big basket. He was almost going up with that shot before he caught it. That was a quick release down there. A three guard lineup for Phil Can Nation. Could also be four with Obusan, oh. but a tough shot there by Bernardo. Bernardo's got it going a little bit here now in the second half. That was a tough shot. And, and Obusan was there in front of him, just didn't get a hand up. Obusan would like to respond, finds Pachuki on the corner. Yeah. That's good. Really good use of his penetration. Finding the extra man, that, the open man with the extra pass. I like it. And harking back to my question earlier, I think he's showing why coaches are intrigued with his talent coach. Yeah, I, I, I feel like, I, I want to say, and I haven't seen him play enough, but I feel like he's the kind of guy that a coach would describe as a winner. Somebody stepping out again. <laughs> I've seen that happen more in this tournament. You gotta be aware. As we see this nice connection, Gab Obusan finding Alexander Pachuki with a corner three. So just a little detail, but he, the guy guarding him, he's guarding a left-handed player. He's got his right foot forward in the middle of his body. It makes it easy for Obusan to go left, and that kind of sets up the whole three-point play. You don't send a lefty to it anyways. <laughs> Kind of technical, but I understand you, Coach. I tell my young kids that all the time. Like, son, he's right-handed. Your stance is basically saying, blow by me to the right. That's not a good idea. And he's only 12 or 10. That, that's that's 12. the superior side for him. You're basically giving him what he wants, right? Yeah, yeah. Anyways, <laughs> I mean, not to belabor the point, but yeah. They got to, you want to send guys their weaknesses and then... Make plays after that. It's just fundamentals. It's the basic things that basketball players need to learn, especially from a great mind like Alex Compton. As Alex Matsuki gives it to Obusan. Up and under, tough shot for Gab Obusan. Good finish going left. And suddenly an eight point lead for Phil Can Nation. How will Phil Am respond? Bernardo, again Obusan with a stop. Obusan. Oh. Morgan Obusan on the run. Good pass. Nice pass. He leads to a Jordan Morgan basket. Tell you what, we talked about Obusan coming in fresh after some significant time on the bench. He has made plays this entire corner. Look at the shovel pass. As we see this Adidas assist of the game, courtesy of Gab Obusan to Jordan Morgan. And all of a sudden, a 10-point lead for Phil Can Nation forces the hand of Phil Am Nation Select B to call for time. This time is brought to you by Farm Fresh Dairy. We're back in the action here at the Mall of Asia Arena where Phil Can Nation is threatening to pull away against Phil Am Nation Select B in this Manila Live. Boys 19U finals. And Jordan Morgan has a chance to extend this lead further. Gets the bounce, an 11 point lead, the biggest lead of the game for Phil Can Nation. Solanoi, the pass that he was in the first quarter was stifled in the third. Philam needs more of his effort and energy if they want to mount this comeback. And as I said, Solanoi short in the three. Idolor. Oh, good read. Not a great choice on offense. <laughs> Bernardo completes the fast break. Don't think his hat coach is going to be really happy <laughs> with that behind the back pass. And he was just he was just fielded in. That's that's not a wise thing to do, especially if the first if, if it's his first chance to show out. Yeah, that's uh, yeah. You make better decisions. Than that. That's nope. a better decision. But finding for Mahmoud. But the defense was ready. <laughs> and on cue, he will set 
I feel like as we see this replay of that Bernardo, uh, Coach Roenig Baelio was not happy with that, that pass. Sits Idolor back on the bench. And now this is winning time. Six minutes and 12 remaining in the fourth quarter. Phil Can is ahead, but turnovers here and there can change the tides for, for oh, them. Nine points, six minutes. There's still so much time. Just can't be careless as oh. Jordan Morgan once again goes off the glass. That's a tough bucket. That is a tough bucket. There was guys all around him. Bernardo gives it to Morales. Corner three won't go. Mahmoud against Solari. This time, Mahmoud gets the rebound. Morgan, he wants to deliver oh. the dagger. But Obusan will be called for that foul. As we see here, that tough shot from Jordan Morgan against three defenders, Coach Alex. Three guys around him with their hands up. That was... Not bad defense, a tough shot. Another end, Phil Lamb. Still settling with that, with those drives. Aquino failed scoring that one, and the ball will go back to Phil Can Nation. And this is the fourth team foul for Phil Lamb. Problems just mounting for Phil Lamb Nation. Yeah, they definitely don't want to commit any fouls, but they're not even halfway through the quarter. And they're down by 11. Morgan, confidence at an all-time high. Oh! What a dribbling exhibition. Oh, pass. Nice pass! <laughs> but I think the foul was on the ground before his pass to Mahmoud. But he's shooting too because of, the, because of yeah. the fouls. But that was a great handle. Wow, what a behind the back coming off of that ball screen and then I like the little shovel pass too. Get it to the big boy. Parang Alex Compton mag dribble. No, no. Mas madalang sa akin yan. Sobrang simple yung laro. Yeah. Very flashy. It's Jordan Morgan. And has a chance to uh, extend this lead further. Makes the first. One of two for Jordan Morgan. I've seen crazier time, things than a 12-point lead with five minutes left. Hey, this is still an eternity of basketball, Coach Alex. Five minutes to play. Wilder not... things have happened. Oh. And fouls like that can help the cause of Phil Am Nation Select B. Morales to the line for two. Yeah, that was a really good cut. He's got a defender turned his head. He got a little lost. Great cut. Again, this could cut it to 10. First one's good for Gabriel Morales, a six foot guard. The second one misses Obusan once oh. again with the rebound. He's doing everything for Phil Can Nation. Morgan is begging it to be passed. Mahmoud being hounded by two defenders. Obusan decides to take it by his lonesome. And again, the recognition of Phil Can Nation that Phil Am is already in the penalty and they are getting easy points. But more importantly, putting the top players of Phil Am in trouble. This is just a recipe for success for Coach Roenick by Elio Coach. Yeah, and I even liked how both Obusan and Mahmoud did not force very tempting passes down court against the, the press. There were guys that was like, a, like, oh, I could throw it. And they didn't force it. And then they made the easier play. And then they're on the line shooting two now instead of possibly turning the ball over. Obusan makes the first. He goes two of two. Again, we invite you here at the Mall of Fish Arena. 20 pesos lang po ticket. Crowd starting to swell. We've seen some Adamson delegation already. Coach Ryan Monteclaro and Father Aldrin Suan here to support the Baby oh. Falcons. But the action first, the Manila Live Boys 19U. Another missed opportunity 
for Philam Nation. Time is not on their side. Yeah. And Phil Can Nation is willing to make this one. Vega. Good hustle. Oh. But a foul again. That's those fouls early on in the quarter hurt you now. It's not yes. that that's a bad effort play. Bernardo's leaving it all out there. Oh, and now Bernardo yeah. fouls out. So who will Phil and Nation Select B go to? Bringing in Aquino for him. But now you lose some of that size. Aquino's yeah. done a really nice job. He's made some plays at some floaters, some medium range, shown great effort. But Bernardo, clearly one of the best players on this team, going to be sorely missed here at the end of the game. And that's going to be tough for him watching his teammates fight and try to mount this comeback in the final 4-15 if they can still able to do so. And Vega doesn't want that to happen. As he makes that free throw. As you see the family of Angelo Vega very supportive as they want Phil Kahn to hoist the trophy. In the meantime, again, another miss. The passing has just been absent for Phil Amnick. Yeah. Yeah, I think, you know, a lot of times you get guys, you don't want to ascribe a negative personality trait to them, but sometimes they want to make plays too bad that they make it a little too eagerly, too soon. Kind of hero ball, but we go to a timeout. This timeout is brought to you by Farm Fresh Dairy. We're back for our final three minutes and 56 minutes of our Manila Live Boys 19U Finals where, where Phil Can Nation looks very much in control against Phil Am Nation Select B, 77-63. Randall B. Leonson with Coach Alex Cotton on the call and Zayn Mahmoud just muscling his way inside but was wide left on that fadeaway. He was trying to operate down low but could not create some space. Nice defensive stance there by Phil M. Nation. Yeah, well, I think Makarana has the advantage on him quickness-wise. No one in the gym right now has the advantage <laughs> on him size-wise. <laughs> Another end. Crafty move by Lakindanum. But the referees are saying... Is that shooting or on the side? Uh, I, think, I, I think that's just on the ground. Oh no, oh, they're giving two here. shots. Okay. They honored the continuation, apparently. There you go. <laughs> well, it, certainly, if you're Phil Am Nation, you want to get to the line as much as possible, put points on the board without the, without the clock, clock moving. moving. Yeah. And set up your press a little bit. And Ethan Lakindanum makes his first. Every point counts, every point matters, but more importantly, the defense has to be stout for Philam after this. Oh. A sorry miss, like in the noom. Tried to recover his own missed free throw, but Phil Can will regain possession. Getting in there and getting after it. You don't see the shooter get in there that much. And now Obusan, like a man among boys, to Vega. Rush shot. Bailey with a rebound, intercepted, but a foul was called in that one. Well, it was a good shot at the rim, but you also, you know, it's where as a coach, there's like this gray line. Do we take that? Do we get to the rim right there? Clock's on our side, but coach, it's a layup. You know, you have those plays where... I feel, that, I feel that that's a rush shot, especially you're up by 13, you have the luxury of... Milking the clock, getting the best shot possible, coach. Certainly. But again, Time's I'm not, on your side. That's why I'm here. I'm not a coach. Right? Well, that's why I'm here. I'm not a coach either. <laughs> As we see here, Pachuki with the rebound. Obusan. Nice passing. Morgan showing his athleticism, but the shot won't go. But Obusan, that foul will send Phil Kahn to yep. the penalty. And fourth on Gab Obusan. And again, there, Phil Can Nation is giving Phil Am um, the window of, of opportunity to mount a comeback. Gotta but make free throws. Missed free throws. Yeah. That hurts. Yep. 
Andre Macaranas can pull his side. That's tough. Oh, for two. That that hurts, coach. That yeah, hurts. yeah, that's not gonna help your chances much. Obusa oh. trying to be fancy. Don't need that. Turnovers, careless basketball for Phil Can. Lakindanum to Macaranas. Cleanup job by Morales. And now the lead is down to 11. Two minutes and 26 remaining. And that sends us to a timeout, which is brought to you by Farm Fresh Dairy. Seconds of our Manila Live. Boys under 19 finals. Phil Can Nation protecting an 11 point lead against Phil Am Nation Select B. But this is still a long way to go, Coach Alex. You don't want to be careless if you're Phil Can. Yeah, we got a little 1 3 1, three quarter court trap here, it looks like. Let's see if they come. Yep. Good Easy job by Obusan. Yep, yep. Obusan got to the middle of the floor there a little bit. That helped. 10 seconds on the shot clock. Pachuki, Mahmoud with the screen, loses the handle. And here come Lakin Danum. Does he drive? Lead Down is to back nine. to single digits. Mahmoud, like a Mack truck, runs over. 79 to 68 for Phil Can Nation. Morales misses. Final 100 seconds of this game. Again, they're trying to go fancy. Three-pointer by Aquino. Short of that one. Morales, nice pass. Macaranas could not complete. But Bailey with a cleanup job. Nine-point game. Obusan. Being hounded by three defenders. Jump they will force a jump ball. That's a turnover. Wow, that's a big stop for Phil Amnation, coach. Yeah. Yeah, it is. I mean, it's only nine. So so I love the way Obusan, Obusan has played. Um, right there, he pushed it up with a lot of his guys behind him in the half court. And so he didn't have a lot of options to pass the ball to there. And he got stuck. Good drive. Danum. Oh. And again, fishing for a foul gets rewarded with two free throws. Again, these are opportunities for Phil Am to slice the lead with the clock at stationary, but the free throws, coach. That has been their bane. Yep. Yep. Ethan Lakindanum. Well, cool as they come. And the last thing you want to do here, if you're Phil Can, is get up an offensive rebound off a missed free throw on a possession like this. That's painful. I thought you were going to say the last thing we want is to jinx the free throws. Oh, no, no. We no. did not. As Lakindanu makes two. This lead is down to seven. Flores. Obusan to Pachuki. Much Morgan. better possession. Yeah. That's what it's supposed to look like. Very good job right there by Phil Kane. Final I feel, minute. feel like there was no doubt that's what they talked about in the timeout. Mahmoud that's muscles his way down low. That's tough now. Possible, but really tough. Could be the dagger, but they have to find an answer. Lakin Danum oh, blocked key. by Morgan. Macaranas wanted it. Pachuki was in disbelief that the foul was called against him. That means two free throws for Andre Macaranas, who has been superb in this game for Phil Am Nation. Yeah, he's, he's done a great job. He's really stood out for them. Uh, to me, done a, done a great job in this game. And like, if you're Phil Ken, you don't, you don't want to foul. You don't want to be in this position. And Andre Macaranas goes two for two, but they need stops. Let's Talking see. about Phil Am Nation. Oh. Almost lost his footing. Another stop. Lakindanu pull up. Jay! Short on that one. Morales misses, Lakindanum again, scores! Ethan Lakindanum reviving Phil Am Nation, five-point game, but Pachuki to Mahmoud. Good decision right there. And they are willing to make the clock. Really good decision. I thought the big fella was going to attack the basket there. Good decision to dribble it out. 
great awareness. And Pachuki has a chance to deliver the nails in the coffin. He makes the first. One more, and it's a three possession game. That's, that's tough. Pachuki looking to put this game away for Phil Can Nation. Misses. Two possession game. But time start on the side of Phil Am Nation and he steps out of bounds. Tough break for Ethan Lakindanum. Oh, I feel bad for him. That's tough. And the fans of Phil Can Nation can feel it. Bailey was forced to call to, to foul. And final six seconds, the result is imminent, Coach. I've seen some miracles. I, I, don't, I can't do the math of this miracle. With six seconds left to go full court, six, we're going to need oh some. God. You need, like, multiple technical fouls to happen for this to be a. We don't want that to happen. No, we don't we want, don't that, want that, that to happen. No, we don't. But again, at the end of the day, both teams gave their all. Heads up for them, but again, only one will get a chance to hoist that trophy. That championship trophy, I should say. Good battle. Good battle. You know, Phil Can starts out great. Phil Am comes back, takes the lead. Phil Can responds. Been a good back and forth. Yeah. And Mahmoud. Punching that ball and allowing clock to further dwindle down. And I think this will do it for our Manila Live Boys Under 19 Finals with Phil Can Nation Select emerging victorious 82 to 76 over Phil Am Nation Select. Your thoughts, Coach Alex? Just great job. Both teams just a sincere hard fought game great effort got to appreciate what phil Am nation put out there phil can nation really moved the ball well got a few extra possessions thought they'd get a better job of passing it you see right there some of the plays made by obusa and the team just sharing the basketball and i think that kind of stood out as one of the separating factors and i think they need you for the awarding coach so uh, things from here as we see our smart powered up plays brought to you by smart power all 99 get eight gigabytes of all access data only tiktok and only all net calls and text for seven days load now as zane mahmoud gab obusan and the rest of phil can nation will bring home the bacon again the score is 82 to 76 for phil can nation and now we're, tur we're turning it over to our Barker, Jay De La Cruz, for our ceremonies. The outstanding personnel in the Manila Live 19 Underboys Division. First, we'd like to call on the runners up for the Manila Live 19 Underboys Division. First off, we'd like to call on at center court and BTC's very own Coach Eric Altaverano to award the runner up trophy and the medals. Ladies and gentlemen, make some noise for the runner-up, the Phil M Nation Select Team B. Made of Jack Turner, Desmond Pye, Jackson Bernardo, Gab Morales, Tyler Bailey, Christian Aquino, Charlie Labari, Ethan Lakintanum, Andre Macaranas, Ryan Bailey, and Miles Solanoy. They're joined by their head coach, Russell Ripon.
SM Mall of Asia Arena one more time for the Phil M Nation Select B. And it's now time to call the champions of the Manila Live 19 Under Boys Division. Please proceed at center court, Phil Can Nation. They got Jordan Morgan, Alex Pachuki, Joshua Pasiris, Angelo Vega, Angelo Yap, Isaiah Flores, Leah Mitolor, Xavier Hentels, Jaden Hedero, Zane Mahmood. Joseph Gonzon, Gabo Busan, and Enzo Achille. How about we call on the most outstanding player in the Manila Live 19 Underboys Division? Make some noise to the most outstanding player. Number 30, Gabo Busa! Outstanding player in the Mandela Live 1900 voice division, Gabo Busan. And again, an exciting Manila Live voice under 19 finals, which saw Phil Can Nation select like emergency champions. It was a treat having you, Coach Alex, on it, the call. Great, great being here, seeing all these kids literally from all over the world yeah. coming to MOA to play in the championship. And we have two more games up next. The 2024 Smart NBTC Division Two Finals between Top Flight Sports Canada and Echo Green Makati. Javi Palanya and Alex Comptor will be on the call with Kate Reyes. Thank you for joining us. This is the NBTC.